Hey everyone. Thanks to all of you who helped spread the word about Long Beach Gives. It was a successful event. So many people found out about Jazz Angels for the first time and we raised some much needed funds. This is the last week we could get people into the bands for this session. So if you know someone who's thinking about joining, have them contact me in the next few days. And speaking of bands, our bands are sounding so great after only two rehearsals. We've got this big variety of jazz music and we're even doing some holiday songs. Maybe we should have a holiday party in December. You know, normally when we meet with the musicians, we're so focused on the music, we don't have time to talk. I was able to speak with one of our musicians who we found out has been involved in the Jazz Angels off and on for almost half her life. She's a great singer and piano player. Will, can you play a clip of that interview? Sure, no problem. Welcome to Jazz Talk. I'm Barry Kogert, your host from the Jazz Angels, and today we are speaking with Ava Robinson, who's been with the program for quite a while. Hi, Barry. Hi, Ava. Thanks so much for chiming in today. You know, you've been in the Jazz Angels off and on since 2012. If there were, if there were one thing you wanted to tell folks about the program, what would that be? Well, ever since day one of the Jazz Angels, it's been a really great experience. It's really helped me step outside my comfort zone I uh, helped me play in front of people and I uh, just uh, play in in a band which was such a new experience for me <laughs> that's great you know I uh, I found a, a photo of, of you in that very first band in 2012 uh, of a young girl singing behind the band is it okay if I show that I have a feeling you're going to show it whether I like it or not. I'm not sure. Well, we want your approval. It's a nice picture. All right, folks, so, so check this out. Here is uh, Ava taking the center stage with her brother, Maxwell, when we did a presentation of the history of jazz at the Long Beach Playhouse back in 2012. Also uh, sharing the stage is my co-director, Albert Alva on saxophone, uh, the piano player, is Eric Hirshhorn, one of our first Jazz Angels musicians and is now with the famous reggae band Revolution. There's a few other noted people in the, uh, in the city, but we're going to go back to the interview with Ava right now. So thanks for letting us show that. I think it's a really cool picture. Um, you know, you perform and like so many styles of music. Is there something special that you like about jazz? I guess what I like about jazz is there's so many different varieties within jazz. There's bossa nova, funk, uh, swing, Latin. If you don't like something, there's going to be something else for you. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, there are. Jazz is a wide scope of, uh, of musical styles for sure. So who's your favorite piano player or singer and maybe even your favorite band these days? My favorite band right now is Nirvana. I I just really like the their lyrics that c kind of speak to the whole teen generation with uh, anxieties and anger. And <laughs> it's probably just because I, I'm a very angsty teen. <laughs> and Kurt Cobain always has a, a distinct voice which, with such power in it that even shines through on the more acoustic songs. Yeah, that's great. You know, I think it's really important for our viewers to hear from Jazz Angels musicians such as yourself. You've been around the Jazz Angels for about half your life, and, and uh, I'm so glad that you came and spoke with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. How about that? We're working on a cool tune that Ava's going to sing this session. More details on that later. Couple things coming up. The Herb Albert Foundation is a supporter of Jazz Angels. Herb Albert is a great trumpeter, band leader, arts advocate, and businessman. He really changed music with his record company, AM Records. Sidebar my very first recording session was at AM Records. I was scared, it didn't go very well. Back to Herb Albert. They made a movie about him. Herb Albert is, and we've been invited to a special preview screening on October 1st.
keep it between us. I'll put a link to the movie with all the details in the comments below. We're still working out some logistics for our open mic jazz in the alley rehearsals and all the performances. I should be able to have those details for y'all next week. For now, we're bringing back the riff of the week. Over the next few days, send in one of the riffs you've been practicing. Could be anything like, hi, my name's Barry. And in preparing to watch the Herb Albert movie, I've been learning some of his songs. Here's my riff of the week, The Lonely Bull. Anything like that. Send it to me and we'll put it together in one clip. It'll be fun to see and hear from you. Now, our recommended videos for this week is our Louis Prima playing Night Train and the famous version of Lute to Boot featuring Illinois Jacquette. We will see you next week.